we celebrate? Because it's Monday. It's Monday. Sketchy Live. I don't know if you're aware of this, but Sketchy Live happens every Monday night at 9.30-ish. Yes. Ish. Ish. We were on time tonight. We were on time. What happened? I applaud us. Applaud. I applaud. Maybe that's why we were applauding, because we started on time. Hey, we started on time. Give or take a second or two. Guys. Guys! Season four, episode eight. No big deal. Season four. We've been doing this for four three fun years. years. Three full years. We're in our fourth season. Yeah, we're in our fourth season. Yeah. I mean, how many... There's TV uh, shows that haven't lasted that long. Right? We haven't, we the haven't news, been canceled. We, yeah, the good news <laughs> we don't, Yeah, we don't have a network to answer to. We didn't cancel ourselves. Right. We have just you guys to answer to. So right. we appreciate you showing up. Who are you? I'm Johnny Jalopy. What? Uh, you may know me from such films as Father Knows Who, <laughs> Chucky and the Bean, <laughs> yeah. Larry Hagman, and The Dancing Fool. But I'm also sometimes called upon for my sketching skills on a little show on Motor Trend called Full Custom Garage. What? You're a movie star. It's TV. It's not a movie. It's still. Anyways. And who are you? I <laughs> form <am> of <laughs> form of a sidekick. <laughs> I am right. I'm a sidekick. Mm. I'm a sidekick of a sidekick. I think. Yeah, I think if you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a sidekick twice removed. <laughs> <laughs> is that? Is there some sort of geometry in that? Like I don't know. Are you a sidekick? It's like unsquared. Are or... you a sidekick pie? You you are pie. I do love pie. <laughs> Um, I'm Itty B, and Itty B. I, I talk while you draw. So anyone just joining us for the first time, welcome. Yeah, hey, welcome to Sketchy Live. We sure appreciate you stopping by. Hey, don't forget to check us out on the, all the social uh, medias, Facebook, Instagram. We are on YouTube as well. YouTube. Uh, hey, follow along. Uh, chat if you'd like. Answer, ask questions. Be a part of the show. Be a part of the show. Like You are actually, to be honest, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Everyone who's on the other side of this is really the star of the show. They really are. Yeah. They keep me going. I know that. Right. And then so I not, just... Lord knows I'm not paying attention to what you're doing over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Guys. Let's not bring the Lord in this. Tonight. What are we doing? We're taking a break from American Graffiti. Yeah. I was going to do some American Graffiti stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Let's change it Let's up. Let's shake it up. I had this little sketch I had done uh, some lunch times ago. Hmm. And I really would like to continue it. So I do, I do have a pre-sketch, uh, but it is something that is drawn. I'm going to show you the exact full sketch on paper. Uh -huh. And then we're going to ink it in. Nice. And really get some details. And, make and it then live. we're going to color it. Yeah. Make it live. So we're taking a break from American Graffiti because we are going to circle back around. There's a couple cars I'd oh, like to see you draw. We still got plenty to do. Yeah. Who's on the broadcast, Diddy B? Let me tell you. There's about 40 people watching right now. Rock on. Um, we've got Hank Dutton. There we go. There's there's what we're starting with. Hank Dutton is our web designer. I, thought, I was going to say, the resident, our resident web designer who lives in a box down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> he probably lives under a snow cap right now. Right now. I think it was yeah, snowing basement, last time we talked to them. In a chilly basement. But um, definitely go check out the website. I'm glad I'm glad he popped on and we mm. were able to announce this because johnnyjalopy.com has gone Full through some force. major... Changes. Yes, such great additions. Super excited Hank about it. done an amazing job. Yeah, go check it out. Um, we have the ability to to shop now. There's a shopping cart available. Um, we have more Form product. Of. <laughs> Form of cash out of your pocket. Um, wow. wow. <laughs> there is. Um, there's more to it. Than there's that. a ton. He has he has put so much more of Johnny's art on there. We're talking years past prints available. Go check them out. We've got hats. We've got beanies. We've got shirts. We've got stickers. It's exciting. It felt almost like at times, to be honest, when when he was uh, asking for the artwork, I was like, am I in some sort of a... Boy, it's coming at me heavy. Let me... Okay. God. I mean, he was pulling everything out of me. He was. It was like a procedure. So it's all out there. It's for just all a, to see. It's just a matter, see. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. But we appreciate everything he's done. Um, HankD.com, by the way. HankD.com. If anyone com. is interested. Yes. Great, um, he does great, amazing work. Great work. Great work. Um, Maddie Bunce, 
our uh, local viewer, Maddie Bunce. Matt Maddie Bunce, Bunce tuning in. Hello, everyone. Robert Frost is join us, joining us. He says, here we go. Yes, here we go. Draco said, damn, really close to on time. You're slipping. <laughs> Normally, we are a few minutes late. There's usually some type of technical difficulty, but um, we, had, we had it together tonight. I'm pretty proud of us. We're certainly giving it our best go. We've got Raphael VW tuning in. Weppa, weppa, weppa. Fungo, Fungo power. power. Um, Paul Marziani is joining us from Bradenton. Hello, Eddie and Johnny. What is going on? We've got Lane Kelton from the great state of Alabama. Laney Kelton. in. Haven't heard from Lane in a while. Yeah, Hope hey, you're we're doing so well, sir. Glad thanks to, for joining us. Thanks for being back in the in the fold. Right. We've got uh, Russ Randall joining us. Probably Russ and Peggy Randall joining us from Great Bend, New York. Now they've just moved. Uh, can we call it Water Water Bend? Watertown too. No, Water Bend. <laughs> water Bend. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're living in a water bend. I do miss Watertown. They don't. I know. Probably not. Well, maybe they do. I, maybe they do. I just, they do. I just misspoke. I'm sure that house had a lot of memories. You know, maybe, you know, who am I to say they didn't miss it? Right. <laughs> We've got Mama Wood and Tim in the house. What is going on, she my mother? She mother. loves us. She we loves love us. you. We just, she we got really, to, really loves really us. Really loves us. <laughs> we got to hang out with him uh, yesterday, which yeah, was fun. Yeah, we did. It was soup. great It to was see them. soup fun. It's always so nice to get my little hug from her. She's so cute. Oh, and you're leaving Tim out. Wow. She's just so... Wow. Well, no. Wow. Tim... It's okay. It's okay. Tim is my size. I said little hug. I didn't say normal hug. Tim is not I said your little size. hug. He's bigger than That's she is. A, well... Okay. She's a little hug. Jim Pollen is tuning in from Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. Hottie Garage. We've got Lizzie Daughtry from right here in Dade City, Florida. What's going on, Lizzie? Welcome, Welcome. as always. Howard Pierpont is tuning in from Greeley, Colorado. 45 Mr. and the snow Pont. is melting. Mr. Mr. Pier. Oh, really? They're having melting snow That's, out there. Is that, a good, is that a good thing? I think uh, I think it is unless it winds up icing up again, and then oh right right then right, right. we'll have a problem. There could be problems involved. We've got Spud Anderson tuning in. What Good is... evening, he says uh, from the Seattle area. Did he say it in the in the stylings of? Ugh, I can't think of his name. I just right, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Stylings he of he didn't put a U. He just put G O O O O O O O O D. Right in the in the in the stylings of Vincent Price. Good evening. Good evening. Right. Or maybe uh, more along the lines of Alfred Hitchcock. Okay. Either one. Do you know either one of those people? I've heard of them. Yes. <laughs> Andrew Farrell is joining us. Hi, guys, from Queensland, Australia. Hey, mate. <laughs> Doug Coates is Let me say in. this in the most American way. Good day to you. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. <laughs> Doug Coates is joining us. Um, he says, Edgy Doug checking in from the peg, Winnipeg. What's going on? Um, Cam McNulty is joining us. Cameron. Hello, me doa. Johnny's daughter. Cameron. Me doa. Lou Linder Jr. tuning in. Hello, guys, from a snowy and cold Pennsylvania. Lewis. Lou Linder Jr. Lewis Linder. L L J. He he's he could be L L. Bean. Cool J. Oh well, let's Lewis you know, Linder you know what? Jr. Let's let's knight him. He's, LL Cool J. He's now LL Cool J. <laughs> Are we allowed? No, no. To do LL that? Cool J R. LL Cool J R. Cool Junior. Mm. LL Cool J R. J R. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Okay. We're running with that, Lou. <laughs> He's like, please don't. Take it or leave it. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> but don't leave. Stay. Right. Julie Anderson is tuning in with Spud. They are Jules. A, they're a couple. For anyone who doesn't know, they are married. What? Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, I thought we were into living some, out in Seattle. I thought we were gonna get some dirt. No, they are they are non dirt people. They That's are true. They're great are. people. Funam. Dave Daughter is tuning in. Happy Monday, kids. Happy Monday to you, sir. So hopefully you guys will dig this. I have had some requests to do some semi trucks. I did want to do a big old, you know, because sometimes to get the whole truck truck and trailer can take up a lots of room. Right. I just totally, I totally went shit's creek. Lots of room. 
Um, John. <laughs> anyways, anyways. Um, so we're doing a fuel truck. Cool, cool, cool. This is not something you normally do. Mm-mm. You've only done a couple mm-hmm. semis that I've seen. So this will be a semi treat. Treat. <laughs> Smelly Contreras is tuning in. Puro Power. What's going on? Thanks for hanging. Um, Jim Holland said hello to everyone from Hobo, Hobo's Hot Rod Garage. Love American Graffiti. Looking forward to tonight. We're not doing American Graffiti yeah. tonight, Jim. Although, taking a break. I don't know. This actually wasn't American Graffiti. It was down the, I, I forget what street it was. It was parked next to the Blue Volvo. It, you gotta, you gotta really walk. You Milner's really gotta Coop, pause. And Milner's coupe a goes by like at a real fast click as Suzanne Summer's car pulls into a car wash, and then you see the semi. Semi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, if you were looking forward to American Graffiti, we will be continuing that though. So stay tuned in. Uh, episodes to come. Yes. Um, Raphael VW said, "Happy, happy, happy. Good night, Mofongo Power, Power." We've got the McCoys joining us from Maurice, Louisiana. Louisiana, what's up? They said hello. So they were H H H E E L L L L. Were they doing the Seinfeld hello? Hello. Hello. Then you go. Is that what you do? Yeah. Jacob Pena is joining us. He says, badass. Mr. Pena. Mr. Pena. David Hill's joining us. Massachusetts under fresh blanket of snow. Mm. Snuggle up. He, and said, get your... he said, whatever. Johnny and Eddie B are on. Hey, man. Woo! Snuggle up and get yourself some. Oh, God. <laughs> Do not repeat last week's What well. do you mean? That was funny. It wasn't. Go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Michael C. Thomas is tuning in. And that's how we started. Thank you for way. watching, Michael. Thanks for tuning in tonight. As we started talking about somebody was going to snuggle in, and you were like, make sure you snuggle in with, with some. some ca- 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 Bob McLaren said, hey, from the tropics. Hey. Bob, you're you supposed doing? to be in New Jersey. Where are you? Because that is not tropical, unless maybe they had a warm day there. I'm not sure. Um, Alicia Allen is tuning in. Welcome to the broadcast. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. We've got Scott Allman tuning in. He says, love your art, brother. So here's where we're going with this. Already we're doing a little bit of changes, a little more exaggeration to the horns on the hood. Getting a little... Exaggerated. Horny. Are you? All righty. Cindy Stillwell, your cousin Cindy. Hello, cousin. (laughs) She's in... May, is it Maine? No. Uh, Massachusetts? No. Vermont. Vermont. I knew it was somewhere up there. Sweet, sweet Vermont. Sweet, sweet <laughs> Vermouth. Yes, I was. that's exactly where I was going. <laughs> that's so funny. But I was Vermonting And that instead. is from Groundhog Day. Yes. Which we just recently watched. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we toast to? I like to toast to world peace. Well, I always toast to. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Williams said, y'all quit kicking each other's sides. Darn it. This is a family show. <laughs> um, Hank said, the lunch sketches. Do you sketch them at work like a table at work? Actually, he does. Uh, he said, or do you go out at lunch and draw at the place you eat? Really, either one. You've been known to hit a Panera at lunchtime and then leave the art there for pickup. There has been times I've done that. That was yeah, always fun. That was A little neat. art drop. Um, sometimes he just... He just you know, he'll bring some leftovers from home or grab something to eat, and then you will. You'll sit in the break room. There are many drive. times I'm just trying to get the hell some time away. Yeah. And dive into. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta you gotta decompost, de 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 louse yourself. So. De louse. Wayne Phelps is joining us. He said, "I can't hear you because of the Daytona 500 is on." Oh no! It's on again. Um, I thought wasn't it yesterday? Maybe he's. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're uh, maybe they're doing a night race, or maybe they're reruns. I do not know. Some people do like watching them. I do not know. Um, Mike Smith is tuning in. Mike Smith from Central Wisconsin. Well, we appreciate you hanging out, anyways. Even if welcome. you are watching racing, Mike, welcome. I'm um, Scott Day. Yeah. Keep up the good work, Johnny. He says. Thank you, sir. Um, Stuart Waynell said, love you guys. Got my shirts and prints today. Awesome. Oh, wonderful. We actually, um, Whew. we actually put in about a, an hour and a half of prep and shipping. <laughs> there was some shipping going on. That's for sure. So we're going to have another order, uh, going out tomorrow. 
We appreciate the support, guys. Yes, everyone. Thank we're, you so much. We're happy that you're digging it. We really are happy that you're liking what we're putting out. So I say we. I have nothing to do with it. That's it's all, not true. It's all Johnny. That's not um, true. Hank said the site is up to 100 standard sketches. So um, if you visit the site, and, and I'm glad he pointed out the standard sketches. So the standard sketches are 25. Um, these that we do on Monday nights are called um, Sketchy Lives. Yeah. And those prints are $20. They come at a discount. They do because you're watching it live. And here's what we're doing. You're a part of it happening, you know? It's like when you go to a concert and you're like, yeah, I want to bring home a t-shirt from that concert. That was a lot of fun. Right. Grab a sketch. Grab a copy of the print. So the next time you're, you know, sitting there on your couch and you're having a little go, go, you can look at the pen and remind yourself of the fun you had. Here's the other fun thing. We have a fun sketchy fact. live t-shirt available. We do. It's the only shirt out of all of them that I am actually named named on. Mm-hmm. Sketchy live with Itty B and Johnny Jalopy. Who's Johnny Jalopy? Mm-hmm. That's you. Oh, okay. Um, so that's available. 25 bucks for the shirts, 25 bucks for the hats, and the beanies. Can I just say? Oh, cold weather had, still. Grab one of these beanies. They are awesome. We have had a awesome. great response. A great response to these beanies, and um, I'm I not a beanie. I'm not a beanie person, but I really like them. Like I, I think I'm going to start wearing beanies. The inside of the beanie is a jersey. Inside the beanie Shh. is a jersey material. It is so comfortable on which your is head. why you like it because it goes jersey because <laughs> it goes no sleeves. <laughs> All jersey. All jersey. No sleeves. You gonna sweat in that hat? Um, it's made of a jersey material, which for for um, what is a jersey the material? The bald men, because there's a lot of guys who shave uh, their heads. You don't say bald man. That's not nice. The shaved head crew, you're gonna love these. So comfortable, so comfortable on the head. You sounded just like uh, Justin Timberlake there. Suck it, suck, suck it. <laughs> Kathleen Harrigan, what's is up? Joining us. There she is, super artist. She says JJ rocks, but she spelled it R A W K S. Oh, nice. <laughs> We've got Shaggy LeBlanc tuning in. She's an amazing artist, by the way. Go Kathleen? check. Kathleen, yeah, oh, yeah, indeed. Yes, go check her out. Such a nice person. It's always been very supportive of my artists. I've been. In the years we've been doing this and things and just always very encouraging and shares pictures and she's worked on some really cool stuff and is, you know, we'll send pics and stuff. So I'm very, I'm very grateful for the interaction that uh, I've had with uh, you. So thank mm-hmm. you. So thanks for hanging out. Indeed. Um, Shaggy LeBlanc is joining us. Welcome as always Shaggy. Uh, Wayne Phelps says that's a cool truck. Indeed it is. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Julie Anderson is waving. Hello, Jules. Julie. What are you doing, Julie? We've got Dan Mogger, Mogger, Mogger. tuning What's up, in. He my says, buddy. What's Hi, up? guys. And then he says, thanks for reaching out. Absolutely, man. You are welcome. We, we care you, about man. you. You're a brother. That's all right. Um, Draco said, I love Russ's old house, but the new place is going to be awesome, too. I haven't seen pics. I haven't seen pics. But I'm sure it'll be awesome if they're they're putting their time and effort into it. It's going to be amazing. And um, maybe he'll post some pics so we can see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, maybe. Um, Lane Kelton said, glad to be back to normal. Uh, got the next surgery behind me. Feeling great and getting back to normal. Great Wonderful. News. That is phenomenal news. We've had yeah. a couple people on the broadcast go through some medical procedures. And every one of them has, has come out great. Yeah. Um, and... Matt Bonds, who has had some Mr. Patience himself. Yeah, he for the last several years has been dealing with some issues, and he is finally, um, I think, going to be walking. I I will say what I will take from uh, what I have seen in that person. uh, Matt Mm Bonds is someone who has endured and has uh, tried to very much, uh, you know, stay positive and 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 hasn't hasn't stopped him, and he gets out and he's uh, going places and doing stuff. You know, as he's wheeling around on his little scooter thing. But, uh, you know, the good news is there, there, it appears there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Indeed. So, and of course, you know. For all of us. Yeah. For all of us. Super so grateful. So, Lane, was... happy to hear. Because Lane is very active, too. Yeah, he's man. Got, he's got that huge property and a lot of responsibility there. Yes. So, I'm sure it's killing him to be laid up. Yeah. And we're believing that just, you are just, back out there. Just and... keep on keeping on, man. You can, you, you're going to do it. We have, we, we believe in you. 
Shaggy is LOLing us. He says, LOL, you guys. <laughs> Which part? We let him know. We love Shaggy LeBlanc. Shaggy LeBlanc. I love his name. I love his creations. Yeah, he does another some... phenomenal artist. I know. You know, we are super blessed that such creative people are watching what we're Take doing. Take time and, to and, stop and, in and yeah, say hi. Yeah, say hello. We are absolutely supportive of everybody. We're, we're, we're firm believers as, you know, you know, we move, they move. It's all about sharing, uh, you know, it's... We're we're doing we're doing the same kind of thing and you know trying to accomplish the same kind of thing getting names out stuff like that we and love it. There is room for growth everybody for all and there's of us. room for everybody. Yeah. So we we're, we're we're super grateful for everybody who stops in and and and, and we're super support. supportful supportful yeah. supportive of everyone else as well. Absolutely. Um, Jeffrey McDaniel's tuning and he said, "Hey from Inverness, Florida, not Scotland." <laughs> Oh, right on. I guess because of the Mick in his McDaniel name, maybe he would have assumed I would have. Done. Are you sure you're not from Dunedin? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they do wear the kilts. They do. I don't know if you've been, Jeff, but mm-hmm. kilt central down in Dunedin, Florida. Not that you've not noticed, right? I've always wanted to wear a kilt. Do you wear a mini? Just wear a mini skirt. It's not the same. I'd like to see it. <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> For many reasons. Hank Dutton said Vincent Price is who you were thinking of. That's who I was thinking. Who did I say? I don't know. Didn't I say Vincent Price? I don't know. I think I did. I'm going to have to go back and watch the I think you said Rowdy Roddy Piper, or am I thinking? (laughs) Yeah, that's who I said. I'm thinking kilts. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, good good for you. 80s throwback to wrestling? That's what I'm all about, man. As I spit on the screen? I'm all about it. Are you? Name another one. Well... There was Hulk Hogan. Okay. There was Andre the Giant. I love this. Andre were you the watching then? Yeah. When those guys were... That's when I was watching wrestling. There was... Um, uh-huh. <sighs> that was it. Wait. Wait. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, well, J- you're... I'm on, I'm on the JYD? Spot. No. No? JYD. I don't know who that is. Junkyard Dog. No. There was... Um, the Tonga? Tony, was it Tony King? My brothers used to watch. So Jimmy Superfly Snooker? No. No? Oh, yes. I remember Jimmy Superfly, but I never called him Snooker. Snooky? Snooker. Is it a relative? Yeah. Wayne Phelps said they're having melting snow. I miss Florida. Um, we had had a couple days of phenomenal temps. It was a little chilly for us over the weekend. We did a fire pit night with friends on Saturday. Yeah, we were. I don't know if anybody saw our pics of us at dinner. Oh, we were bundled up. Whoa. I'm going to tell you guys. We had to tread. We had to dredge our. Tredge? Dredge? Trudge? What do you trudge? Walking through. Trudge. Trudge? Trudge? Trudge through. That doesn't sound right. We were trudging through. We're trudging? Yeah. All right, we trudged through inches. Of uh, Bermuda grass, and it was really depressing. It was. Yeah. And, you know, the sod wasn't taking like... It was not taking well. No. (laughs) I wanted to talk to a manager. Um, We've got Daryl Sizemore joining us from Kentucky. Hey! Hello! Hello! Scott Day, 181 or 181 thing, Central Valley, California. Nice! What's 181 thing? I don't know what that is. You never been there? No. Huh. Is it a place? Oh yeah. It is not. <laughs> it's the dope spot, bruh. Um, the Randall said, Yep, Russ and Peg, love Watertown. Don't miss city living. Ah, well, I'm glad you're out. In a boot. Yeah. <laughs> you were gonna say that. Um, Julie said we need a happy hour Zoom session soon. Soon, I say we should do that yeah, soon. Yeah, we for will sure. have to do that. The weather's getting warmer. Weather's getting warmer. It sounds like a here's, beginning of a here's song. Here's why we haven't done it because we're going to be outside in tank tops and all y'all are under snow. Tanky tops. And you're going to be like, you know what? Florida sucks, but we love it. Jim Campbell is tuning in from Cincinnati. Hello. What's going on, Cincy? Cincinnati, Ohio. And he actually put an exclamation point out. Nice. There. Cindy Need is joining us from Missouri. Is it Missouri or Missouri? It's Missouri. It's not Missouri. She might say Missouri. If you're from Missouri, Missouri, Missouri. If you're from Missouri, would you say you're (laughs) from Missouri? She'll tell us. Hank said it's been a lot of weeks since Johnny has done a monster slash car sketch. Wink, wink. Yes. Uh, Listen, I'm kind of jonesing to do some some fun little cartoony stuff and. 
That's why we're taking a little bit of a little break from the movie stuff, you know. Just to I, I don't want to just where I become roots. predictable in what we're doing all the time. No. You know? How that wouldn't be any fun. No. It wouldn't be. No. No, I say. <laughs> Russ said semi. Peggy said it looks like a full-size truck. Well, it's a semi because you're only doing the tractor part. You're not doing the trailer part. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not. Well, it's got because it has a, yeah. So why did they call it a semi truck? I don't know. You should look it up, Google. Does anyone know why it's called a semi? Hank Dutton will give us the definition toot sweet. Yeah. Let's let's see. Thank you, D. Um, Bob McLaren said it's going to be in the fifties here this week. Ooh, does balmy. that does that mean like you know Sunday, Monday, happy days? What if it's in the fifties? Oh, <laughs> will, will a lot of do is everybody going to be in poodle skirts? Will there be a lot of do wopping? Hank said this truck seems a little horny in a British voice or Scottish voice, whichever it he wants to offend. Right, this truck seems a little horny. <laughs> Do I make you randy? <laughs> Do I? Spud said it's way past time to sit on the deck of a cruise ship, having a little sketchy time eating burritos. Uh, we miss the yes, Lido sir. deck. We do miss the Lido deck. Yes. And I had actually, I kid you not, like a week ago, looked at Carnival Cruises to try and convince Johnny to go. He's still not comfortable with it. Yeah, there's this, there's this uh, deadly... A disease that you've already had that's known as Montezuma's Revenge, and we're oh. a little afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to drink the water. Wayne Phelps, did you hear it, did Jimmy? Yes, the water. Water. Wayne Phelps said, "Grab a sketch." Yeah, go yeah, grab please, one. Please, please, grab a sketch. I'll grovel, and and listen, I, I can sign them, and I can I can I can do things to them. And you can. There's actually an area on the website for special instructions. Special. And you can grab a sketch. Actually, on the website Please it do. says grab some merch is the way we list it because yeah. it's totally us. Grab some merch. It's not a professional thing. Here's our merchandising. Please feel free to peruse. It's grab some merch. Grab some merch, bro. Guys and dolls. Guys and dolls. <laughs> Never said that. I know. I know. Hey, kittens, uh, cats and kittens. Cats and kittens. <laughs> it's because it's in the 50s. I'm going, it's in the 50s there. Yeah. Britt Boyette said, hello tonight from Athens, Tennessee. Nice. I haven't heard from Britt in a, in a bit. In a bit? It's been a bit, Britt. It's been a bit, Britt. Glad to hear you are still on the road trucking. Oh, so he's probably loving this because he's a, he's a tractor trailer guy. Maybe. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what you drive. Maybe. Tell us what you drive. Cam said she wants a beanie for the cold wind in Wyoming. Yes, we know. Is there really cold wind in Wyoming? Yes, we know. Of all places for Come you to on. move, let's move to the coldest place possible yeah. other than Canada. Um, Lane Kelton said, 20 for sketchy. You finally got your raise you deserve since I've been able to watch. It's worth 20 bucks. <laughs> yes, they used to be 15. They are now 20, guys. So Everything if increases. you were If you were part of the original crew. The OG. Was, was privileged enough to get them at 15 bucks. Count yourself lucky. <laughs> count your blessings. Um, Joe Burdett said, uh, got to get me one of those Johnny Jalopy beanies. We do have some available. They have been selling like hotcakes. Like cakes <clears throat> And that as are we get down to what? maybe 10 or so, we're probably going to do another order. So They're like cakes that are what? Hot cakes. Hot. Um, Hank said, so comfortable on the head. Wow, Eddie. They are. They, they are. really are. They really are. Yeah. I, not, I find them very. I am not a shaved head person. Obviously, I have hair. But I would imagine if it's comfortable on my head of hair, that it would be comfortable on a shaved or and or bald head. Good enough for a man made for a woman. Exactly. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Basically. Basically. What do we think of this? Look at this. We're almost. I love it. It's almost dad gum near dad gum. Those almost look like little bunny ears, but I know they're not. They're, I know they're, they're not. not. They're not. Um. My son Kevin Klingo is watching Kevin sporting, Kevin. sporting a beanie in his uh, profile picture. We're gonna have to send him. But not a time. not a beanie. Because he doesn't know. He not didn't the have beanie. It. He doesn't have it. Yeah. Haven't mm. seen him. I haven't seen him in like a mm. month. Mm. Um, Kevin Klingo, as you may or may not know, uh, composed and arranged and produced our opening. What did he do? 
I love. You're shaking your head. No, I, it's always funny because it changes every time you say it. I don't know what the hell he did. I just know he sent us the music. <laughs> <laughs> arranged, for our composed. He did it all, he, is what he, he did. He, he seemed to have... He's amazing. Seemed to do some stuff. He's a wonderful musician. M- wonderful. Wonderful. Um, Shane O'Brien wants to know, what's the deal with Carl? But I think he was... Was it Carl? Who was it? What's the deal with... It's the deal Gene. Gene! <laughs> Why did he say Carl? I don't know. Who's Carl? I don't know what the deal is with Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can tell us. Oh, we've got DCCF joining us, our fan from France. What is up? DCCCCCCCCC. He says, uh, he said in a message earlier that he had been waiting an entire week. So he was super excited to tune in on Monday nights. For him, Monday night is actually Tuesday morning. Right. So he's getting up super early just to watch this broadcast. Super early. We appreciate you, friend. Hot Rods Woodshop is joining us. Thanks for giving us a recommended tip about other notable crafty people sharing the love. Yeah, absolutely. Indeed. And this that gentleman right there is another person that's just phenomenal as far as art, artistry goes. So check him out as hit, well. Hit up his page as well. Um, Hank said, I need to get on the creative artist bandwagon. Need to find my niche. Um, Hank has a niche. Hank, Hank does a lot of different things. Holy cow. Multifaceted, multi-talented, graphic design, web design, and like build, building and coming up with these crazy little monster things that are badass. Yeah. Oh my god! It just it it, it boggles. It, it's mind bottling. Here's what's awesome about him. It's mind bottling. Bottling or boggling? It's mind bottling. Never I thought I'd be that? putting it in a bottle. Yeah, I you... felt like that would be limited. No, no, no. You always put boggling is no, when no, you shake no, around no, like it's... the game boggle. No, it's what it's mind bottling. You put it in a bottle and then toss it. No, you shake it up and then it explodes. Oh. Um, the the cool part about Hank is that he's always thinking through the next step of things. Like he's he's artistic and creative in that respect, but then also planning and execution. Like he's good with that stuff. Right. And he's a great cheerleader. He's been yes. He's been an awesome promoter of our stuff, not promoting it on his own, but but inspiring us to promote more of ourselves, which I think is great. Right. So, thank you, Hank. We love you. Um, Draco said to Hank, "Don't rush it. It'll come." Again, he's he's got a million different things he's amazing at. So, Hank said, "Coco, beware." <laughs> yes, Coco, beware. That was another one. Hank also said, "British bulldogs." Yes, the British Bulldogs. What is that? They were a wrestling team. Oh. Tag team. Oh. Back again. Rex and effect. Why yeah. can't I think of the other wrestlers? It's just slipping my mind. But because that, they didn't have action figures. It was And that's really wrestling. all you, that's all you know is no, the action I knew, figures. No, I knew Rowdy, Rowdy So the, rea- the reality is that you really didn't know much about wrestling. You were pretending right there. I wasn't interested in it, but I was forced to watch it because that's what was on TV. Again, we had one TV in the living room. Your dad watched it? Um, speak, yeah, uh, no, you know, I don't know if he did. So then who forced you? My brothers. Um, you know how they can be. Speaking of my brothers. Yeah, bros. Speaking of my brothers. Do we uh, have to? They will be, my, my brother, Stephen, my younger brother, mm-hmm. and his son and daughter will yeah. be coming out to visit. Your wee little brother. My little, he's actually way tall. Um, but they're coming out to visit. What is your deal with the way tall thing? Everybody Anyone you say is. taller than me. That's not way tall. Then I'm way tall? A little bit, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> You're a dork. Anyway. He and his family are coming out to see us. Um, they will be here on the 4th. Of July? Of March. Um, which means, so what Monday is that? Not next Monday. Not last night, but the night before. Next Monday is the 1st. Um, so it'll be the 8th. On the 8th, we are going to have them as special guests on our broadcast. Nice. And I got questions. Well, and I think we need to do... Um, Maybe something relating to his racing team. Maybe we can do something relating to his racing team. So my brother's son, first of all, my brother was into NASCAR from a very small age. My uncle and my aunt who lived here and my aunt still lives here in um, Port Orange, the Daytona area. Uh uh Huge into NASCAR racing scene, which is why they moved from New Jersey down here to be near 
the, the uh, stadium or racetrack, I guess it would be. Um, anyway, they used to bring my brother to all the NASCAR races. He was such a huge fan. Always have loved, he's always loved racing. Has volunteered his time since I, I don't even know when um, at the local uh, Wall Township Racing Racetrack in New Jersey, where I'm from. And oh my God, how long is the story? I know. Jesus. <laughs> and his son actually races. My brother is a mechanic, very good with cars, so he's able to fix them, fix them, get them ready, do all that kind of stuff on the cheap. Because what does a mechanic do on a race car? Itty B. He puts it together. Itty B. Shut up. What does a racetrack mechanic do? <laughs> he fixes it. Um, so. In racing, what does it mean to be a jackman? Pit crew, maybe? What does it mean to be a jackman? To be on the pit crew? To jack up the car? Jack up how? With a jack? <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> so they're going to be here. My, my nephew is now 17. Going on 18. <laughs> da, 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 he is. Dun, dun. Um, and he's he's like one of the youngest drivers um, at the track over there. Uh, do your research Anyways. before you start really saying what you're saying right now. I don't know if he's you're saying you're, he's one of the youngest. Yes, he okay, is one of the youngest. And he's a, he's racing the adults. You were saying you were doing factual information that he was one of the youngest. He is. Is he? Yes. Are you sure? Positive. There's no one else racing at that track. As younger than him? Didn't he race at the track? Not in the division that he's in. Oh, That's what so I'm he's the about, youngest the adult in his division. division. Anyway. Oh. Shut up and draw. So, <laughs> anyway, he'll be here. So, I want to pick his brain a bit. Um, both he and his sister were. You want to get to know your brother. Because it's been forever. It's been a long loss. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? I just. What is he it. about? What does he do at night? Who are his friends? Anyway. Is there someone following him? Howard Pierpont said, Haystack Calhoun. Was that another? That's like probably soup old. Yeah. Um, Hank said LOD. LOD. Draco said the nature boy. Nature. <laughs> I don't know who he's like. <laughs> They're wrestlers. Um, Hot Rods Woodshop said, I'm just thrilled and flattered to get Johnny's attention for my own crafty projects, considering he is so talented. Feels good to share the love. Oh, man, what are you talking about? You're phenomenal at what you're doing. Keep it up. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I got to see it. Johnny, cool stuff, Johnny man. spends the majority of his day looking at all of your pages. Yeah. How can I rip them off? No. <laughs> He really does. I mean, I, when he's scrolling through stuff, it's it's scrolling through his feed and all of your stuff comes up. So yeah, it's inspiration. It's, it's, it, it, it's definitely looking at other people's stuff. It reminds you that you you can do it, you know, and, and look at all this cool stuff that's out there. Indeed. Yeah. Um, Hank said Bushwhackers. Oh, yeah. Which is actually a bar down the street. It is a bar <laughs> down the street. Um, Spud said, thanks for the reminder. Just got my beanie and a new t-shirt ordered. Oh, Nice. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thank you for the support. Um, Stacy Conine is joining us. Hi, guys. What's Welcome, going on? Welcome, sir. What's going on? What's going on? What do you guys think? Digging it. Sing a little I, pause. I see Let's take a little pause. I see a lot of likes and loves, guys. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. If you're digging this... Definitely show the love. I love it. Are you? Are, is this the back wheels? Almost look like they're in motion. Are you going to put this in motion? No. Okay. Um, let's see. Lou Linder Jr. or LL. It's LL Cool Jr. LL Cool Jr. said Bruno San Martino. Is that another wrestler? Mm -hmm. Um, Hank said the Rockers. By the way, the ugly dude in this duo killed his wife. FYI, it Yeesh. wasn't Sean. Oh, I don't know who they are. You better get to know them. I guess. Matt Mills is joining us from Indiana with three exclamation points. Welcome, sir. We appreciate you. Um, Howard Pierpont said, we can use my commercial account, unlimited connects and length of time. I'm thinking he's referring to the Zoom. Okay. Yeah, we did have a bit of a problem with that last time. I think um, Zoom cut us off at like 40 minutes, and we, we had to re-up it like three times because we were on for a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, well, time got away. We had only planned to be on for like an hour. Oh, Cindy Needs said Missouri ends in an I, not an A. So there you right, have right. it. Right, right. I didn't say, I just said, don't do people from there say Missouri. Clearly they do not. Are you sure? I guess so. A lot of Western. What she said. Do. I think Cindy would know if she lives there. In a lot of Westerns, they do. 
Um, J.C. McAleas is joining us, and he um, phonetically spelled it out for me. <laughs> and Jason Jr., a.k.a. Snuggy Mafia, checking in from the couch from freezing, rainy, eastern Long Island. Snuggy Moff. What's up? <laughs> Snuggy Snuggy Moff in the hills. In the his house. In the hills. <laughs> on the kiss ouch. <laughs> um, Brit Boyette said yes. Snuggy Tractor, Snug. Tractor trailer gig is what he's in. Uh, he said he's in the truck watching tonight. Nice. Well, be safe, sir. Um, Howard Pierpont said Cam, Cam is north of me. High winds tomorrow with snow starting in the PM through Thursday. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be, because uh, we're enjoying some very nice weather here. Yeah. Um, Britt said, I have no idea why they call them semi-trucks. So, so he doesn't know either. Because <laughs> okay. they're almost a truck and they're semi another thing. Okay, well, Russ is, Russ is tuning in and saying, per Google, semis are called such because they pull semi-trailers. A semi-trailer is a trailer that only has one axle. Semi is actually short for semi-trailer truck. A semi is a trailer box with a rear axle, but without a front axle. Mm. Interesting. So, mm-hmm, se- mm-hmm. so semi is actually with reference to the axle, then. Right. Nice. Nice. And you know what that means? What? Paradise City. Take me down. Where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. That's right. Why don't you please? Take me out! <laughs> Lynn Johnson just ordered a couple shirts the other day. Can't wait to get them in. Love your artwork. You are probably uh, one uh, of the ones we... Yep, uh, yeah, they yeah. are probably shipping tomorrow. Yeah, so, so we appreciate beware. you. Beware. I mean, Coco, beware. Buyer, beware. No. <laughs> Chris Honeyfield is joining us. Hey, y'all. Hey, Chris. What is Welcome. up? Welcome. Shane O'Brien. Haha, ha, Jean, not Carl. <laughs> it was, what's the deal with Jean? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Lynn wants but to But what know, is the deal with Jean? We don't know the deal with Jean. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm kind of liking I, this. Likes and loves is what we've been getting. Um, Lynn wants to know, have you ever done a Porsche 911? Love the Volkswagen stuff you turn out. Uh, I have, I think I have one. No, it, it's a 935 we did. Mm. So that's also in sketchy in the sketchy prints. It is. But I've been wanting to do uh, uh, the nine eleven. Uh, nine eleven. I really love. Is the that 9/11. the Carrera? What's the Carrera? That's Porsche nine eleven. There's a. Carrera. So I was right. There's a Carrera version. What does a Carrera version mean? Do you know? I think it's uh well that's Targa. It's the Carrera. I think is uh yeah I think convertible. Oh really? Okay. I'm taking your word for it. I don't know. No clue. No clue. Hank said, as I'm going through the standard sketches, I noticed you used to draw Kid Jalopy. I think you should revisit him. I love the Kid Jalopy. Kid Jalopy was a fun thing to do. We had... My, that was my little uh, character that was for kids. So, like, you could... I, my thought when I did it was that, you know, instead of having this crazy hot rod thing that you put in a little kid's ha- uh, room, you could put up a Kid Jalopy. And it was a little more toned down, a little more simpler, not as... Crazy, but well, still cool. Well, it was a design, rocks. and then it was a little, kid Johnny Jalopy. A little kid Jalopy in there. Yeah, yeah, it was cute. Yeah, yeah, definitely, um, definitely breeze through those guys because you've you've seen the sketches as we've been doing them. But like I said, these are from years back. I mean, I think they're dating back to like 2011. Some of them. There might be ones so. from way way back. Yeah. Quite, yeah. Super quite excited. Uh, Lizzie said that she has new jewelry on her site, so please go check it out. Elizabeth Handmade Jewelry. I'll yep. make anything There's another you person like. that as well is... Very talented with the jewelry. I actually personally own some of the jewelry. She sent me the first set just as a gift, and I was like, what? And then I bought one from her, so... Exciting. Um, Shane said, Ravishing Rick Rude. Never heard of him. Um, Randy Macho Man Savage, that's right. I do remember him. Brett saying, and then Jake the Snake as well. Um, Jason said it was JYD is junkyard dog. JYD. Okay. What did you say? I thought I said JYD. Didn't you I? may have. I may you not. May have. Have. I may not. Have. Um, Julie said we have wrestling out here. It all started in Portland, Oregon. I I believe that it probably did. <laughs> um, Hank said for next Monday you should do a small skit. Called What's Up With That, where you guys talk about what Eddie did over the weekend. <laughs> See, he's always coming up with these ideas. He does not remember always that we have full-time jobs. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I will tell you what we did this weekend. We we did go up to uh, Starkey Ranch. Market. Mark, yes, Starkey Market. 
um, right down the road from our place. This, you, if you follow us at all, you might have seen us ride our bikes there once or twice. But um, we were trying to think of some dinner ideas for Saturday. And I said, well, I'm kind of in the mood for Mexican, but kind of we weren't. And we were just going to go to, you know, some commercial place that we normally go to and some chain place. And as we're driving, we pass the market and we see this food truck and we are all about the food trucks. Johnny loves them. He'll eat, he'll eat anything from a food truck. Um, <laughs> we do. I, I, I love it because because we watch the food truck race sometimes on Food Network or whatever channel sure, it's on. That's not why. But well, sure. What I like about it is that because they're, these people are like, they're really restauranteurs. They're just confined to this truck. Did you just use a word that was totally from Food Network? I don't think they say restauranteurs. Anywho. I, I, they do. Anywho, I was like, you know what? Let's try it. I bet you it's probably really good. What did we have? What the heck? Torta. Tortas. Holy crap. Don't guys. say it so gringo, man. Tortas. It was a sandwich on a it tortilla. Is a torta. Torta. That's not even it either. Torta. You gotta be weird with the... You gotta do this. <laughs> Pinch your fingers. <laughs> Pinch my fingers. And then outwardly, outwardly. push out. Yeah. Because every... Tortas. Nobody does that. Tortas. That's Italian. That would be Italian. Yeah. Torta. That's Italian too. <laughs> I wish you could see my hand gestures. Anyway, the tortas were amazing. The place was called Hungry Hangover. So any of your local peeps, it's over on the by the coffee. Um, any of you local peeps who are in the market for some good, what would you call it? Was it Mexican? Sure. Or was it Cuban? What was it? I think it was Mexican. It's it, all of it's like fusion type stuff. It's it's huge. Mi mixing different cultures. So good. So, but they were. I mean, they had you know the the basic basic. Uh, like rightly made tacos, so it was you know they had tacos, the chicken, burritos, quesadillas, they had chicken and steak and chorizo, and then they had pastor, pastor, uh, and then um, uh, so those were and pretty, pretty rice and beans, pretty good chips and salsa. Yeah, the rice and beans. They had like a nacho, guacamole. They had a chimichanga pretty much for the, the whole menu. They had a chimichanga for the gringos. In any case, because everybody I loves a deep fried burrito. The torta was amazing. It was In super fact, good. If they're there again this weekend, I want to go. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I want to go. Can back. we do that? And then I, we can get the burrito at that other place too, because I really like that burrito. I can't eat both. I can. Anyway, we Chim sat. Can I get a chance? We sat on the front porch in rocking chairs, listening to live music, eating our torta. Yeah, I next really wish to, the music would have been better. Next to the bathroom line, there wasn't a better place to sit. <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing like the fresh scent of. <laughs> Um, that's what we did Saturday night for dinner and then hung out with friends around the fire pit because it was so cold out here, which it was probably, it like was freezing. 55, I mean, you maybe. guys don't, you guys in your little winter, you don't even understand what we <laughs> go through here. It is not, it's not an easy life. Lane said we have midget wrestling here. Oh, oh, Sweet. that's right. Britt Boyette said Jesse Ventura. That's right. Yes. Jesse, the body. Uh, Naz Malone is joining us. Hey, Naz. Naz, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Yep, Jesse Ventura was the body. Um, Howard Pierpont said, you calling me old? <laughs> well, no. Well? Well, no. Um, Britt Boyette said, Ric Flair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bruno San Martino, Paul Marziani said. Um, uh, Jason said, Dusty Rhodes, the oh, American yeah. dream. Dusty Rhodes. Julie said, Playboy Buddy Rose, Stand the Man. Who was the guy back. that did the Atomic Elbow or Atomic, what was his name? Somebody, Atomic Elbow or? The Drop? Yeah. I don't know. Um, Draco said, Old School. Those are old school, yeah. Um, Eldon Gustavo Venancio is joining us. Hello, my friends. Tika Tika Bom. What is going on, Eldon? Hello, sir. Spud said, in the early 80s, we had Rowdy, Rowdy Piper, Jimmy the Superfly, Andre the Giant in Portland. They used to wrestle at our high school as an awesome fundraiser. Andre the Giant was huge. Yeah, he was a man in a man. In another man. He was mantastic. Um, Tyler Post is joining us. Howdy, love the truck. But my so favorite Andre the Giant mm -hmm. uh, is in one of my favorite movies, which is... Princess Bride. Oh, Andre right, the Giant right, was right. amazing. I almost said Green Mile. Different guy. Everybody want a peanut? 
See, now, I that's another movie I know I've watched. Oh, my God. <laughs> I always want to say The Princess and the Pea, which is a totally it has different... has nothing to do with a I pea know. or a princess. I know. I know. And it had Robin Wright in it. Robin Wright used to be on um, Santa Barbara, which was a soap opera that I used to watch. Oh, yeah. That's where I knew her from. <laughs> anyway. Which one's Robin Wright? Um, Stacey Conine said, we're hitting 40 tomorrow. Woohoo heat wave. Oh, I bet. After being so cold for so long. It's a heat wave. Um, Jason said, Leaping Lonnie. Oh, Lepo. yeah. Le- yes. Leaping Lenny. It's Leaping Lenny. Oh, he said L- Lonnie. That was, Le- that was Lenny. Lanny. L-A-N-E. Leaping Lanny. Yeah, it was Lanny. Lanny. <laughs> <laughs> Leaping Lanny. Lanny. Um, Le- Naz Malone said, love to see a 356 Porsche. Yeah, I think we did one. Maybe possible. I believe we did one. Three- that was the one I did. That was the one you did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, check it out. So it's in the sketchy albums. Do you remember what year? Uh, I want to say it was last year there's not too many to flip through so maybe check it out yeah go check it out yeah, it's only like four years alicia allen said this semi truck looks great there's your feedback thank you um lynn said the porsche carrera is the base model of the 911 all right okay there we go so yeah, there yeah, we yeah. go um john schlutt is joining us portland wrestling was a big part of my childhood i didn't realize it started there yeah well cool yeah. cool um draco said that uh, leaping lanny was macho man's brother Oh, really? You know what Macho Man said? Randy Savage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Julie said, snap into a oh, slim yeah. gym. Yeah, let me tell you, brother. <laughs> Ooh, gonna put some lines down, okay? Yeah. That's my impression. There you go. There you go. There you have it. Oh, Eddie B, with your beanie and top of your head. Oh, get a little. No, okay. Did he really talk like that? Which yeah, that's the way you he talked. Understand him? That's the way he talked. Like he always had to use the bathroom. Let me tell you something, okay, brother? Jesus. <laughs> Dave Dodderer said, Johnny, are you going to make an appearance on the new season of Full Custom Garage? You and Ian work so well together. Um, not the season uh, that is being released right now. Uh, so, no. With COVID, uh, they, so they already filmed the season that's on... Um, um, Mugshot? Um, no, it's on Mav TV. Yeah. So that season's already in the can and will be eventually hitting Motor Trend. But they're starting to film the new seasons, uh, a new season that will be, I don't know if I can say it, but uh, yeah. But um, so. So the answer everything is going, possibly, Everything going, yes, it's, it's in the, the works. Future. It's in the for works. The it's in the, the future. future. It's in the future. Um, Alex Cuderon is joining us. He says, hi, everyone. Hello. Um, Hank and Draco are both going, oh, yeah. (laughs) John Schlutz said, I lived down the street from Playboy Buddy Rose in Vancouver when I was a kid. That's crazy. Well, Hulk Hogan lived right here in Bel Air. He still does. Does he? Because I thought they got divorced. What does that got to do with him? Because I thought he moved to Miami. Nah, that's he's where the still family there. was. No, he still got his restaurant and his oh. uh, store down. Like in he Clearwater. runs the restaurant. He's there every day. He is not. cooking shrimp. No, he is not. from the top rope. Yes, Bold. he is no, putting not. his hand to his ear, listening for the crowd, and they're all shrimp, 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 and then he gets a what? And then he rips his shirt and he goes out. and He's like, let me put some pepper. Yeah, he is not. Um, Alex wants to know, are you putting a CB antenna? Yes, we'll be putting a whip. A whip. You got to say it right. Whip. A whip. <laughs> we'll, let it, we'll let it whip. Whip it, baby. Whip it good. James Wilson said, Johnny, you ever do a Torino or a Ranchero? I believe there are is a Torino that I've done in the sketchies as well. I believe it's silver. Mm. So, yes, I do believe we do have a Torino. Um, Britt Boyette said, um, has, Ranchero, I'm not sure if we've done Ranchero yet. Has Johnny done a food truck yet? No. That I've would be lots. great. <laughs> You've eaten it lots, but you haven't done one. That would be fun. That'd be fun to do. Kind of a tricked out. Yeah, could be, could be, could be. Good. Cool. Um, Naz Malone said, Torta is cake in Italian. Um, yeah, this thing was pretty much a... A it's burrito. A, well, it's a burrito. sandwich. Why are you trying to change what it? It's a sandwich. Because it wasn't normal bread. The bread was so cake-like. It was it like was a cake. Not cake. Yes, it was. It, it wasn't was, sweet. 
It was like oh, it was it almost was, like a corn cake. Like but it corn, wasn't even corn like. Corn muffins. Oh my goodness. Corn breadish. You got to eat it another one so you remember. I might have another one. You were so immersed in the in the goodness that you don't even know what you're talking about. It was it. I would eat it again. That's all I'm saying. I love it. I love it. I would go get it right now. Okay. I got. I would go get it right now if I could. Would you have some? Go I, I, no, that would not go. But we did have, what did we have? Mango beer? Mango. Mango beer with Mango it. cart. It was Mango good. Mango cart, super good. Soup good. Um, I would pair it with a torta any day of the week. It right? It's phenomenal. a good pairing. It really was. Mango with the, uh, well, the spice. Well, especially in yours because you got the pastor. It had a little bit of pineapple. Little piney app. Little yeah. piney app in it. Yeah, it was good. Pin app. Um, Hot Rods Woodshop said, love y'all's dynamic. Well, I'm glad well, you thanks. appreciate it. Some people find us annoying. We are very, uh, to most, <laughs> can't stand us. <laughs> <laughs> or they st- like ask, for ask two Ju- weeks. Ask Julian Spud for like for like two times, and then they're like, "I can't take these they're like, people." Oh, yeah, um, we're good. Yeah, we're good. you guys want to hang out? We're good. We're, we're gonna good. go ahead and stay home. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, we've had people quarantining before the quarantine. <laughs> before the quarantine. They're like, yeah, I got this rare thing going on. <laughs> I said I can't be around you people. Can you put it, can you kick it down a notch? <laughs> we're coming at you with it on a two. This is a two. This is really just a two. It's a two. I'm exhausted right now. <laughs> we should kick it up to a nine. No. Uh, Brit Boyette said, remember Sandy Barr. Maybe that's in Portland. He's he's referring to Portland. I do not know what you're talking about. Mm-mm. Um, Hank said idea, colon, food truck with a monster serving food for next week's sketch. Hmm. Possible. Possible. I like where you're going with it. A monster? <laughs> a monster <laughs> serving pastor. <laughs> so we're at the food truck and I, I said, What is pastor? And Johnny says, I think it's pork. I'm like, well, look it up just to make sure before you order it. Yeah, yeah, it is. And then he says, pastor, and it brings up pastor. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a biblical man. Yeah. <laughs> a man sharing the word of God and or pork. Yeah. Isn't, isn't, isn't Spud? Spud a, is a pastor. A delicious, spicy <laughs> Mexican. Spud is a Mexican meat. <laughs> <laughs> pastor? Excuse me, Pastor. Silly, silly. <laughs> um, Julie said, Brett Boyette, totally. I met Billy Jack and Jules Strongbow the night he broke his leg in the ring. Oh. <gasps> what were you doing with them, Jules? Were you running around Some with the strong wrestlers? strong bro. Were you a ring girl? Bear- bearer? <laughs> <laughs> The well, ring. I was waiting for you to go a there. A ring girl. Were you a ring bearer? <laughs> oh, I was gosh. once at a wedding. Um, Alex Cuderon said, I'm a co-promoter for AWWL Big Time Wrestling. Oh, wow. So what's AWWL? That's probably a, a wrestling Worldwide federate. League. Yeah. All but... World Wrestling League. Yeah, nice. All, what does it mean? All wrestling, all, all the, the time. time. <laughs> Hank said Macho Man had a finishing move that was power elbow. Okay. No, it wasn't. It was. Uh, it was. It was an older wrestler, like a uh, '60s, '70s wrestler, and I can't think of his name. My old boss, that was like his favorite guy. And he would always talk about the atomic, the atomic elbow. Hmm. Never heard of but it. But I can't think of the darn. Draco said Chief J Strongbow was Italian in Georgia beforehand and was Joe Scarpa. So he was Italian in Georgia, just in Georgia. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> just, he, he would go to Georgia. Second, like, he crossed the yeah. border. Yeah, he was in. He was like in Florida. He's driving. Hey, man, to tell you what, and then he gets to Georgia, <laughs> and then he's all grazie. Uh, somebody give me the pasta. <laughs> Lynn Johnson said, sent you some photos of my Porsche GT3 RS and a message. Would love to see you draw one. I would definitely buy one. <laughs> okay. Indeed. Um, Hank said, I'm pretty sure it was the beginning of last year is when you did the Porsche. Well, there's only like a couple pages of sketches to scroll through. It's not like there are millions of them. So feel free to scroll through. Hey, you know, the good news is when you scroll through, you might find other things you like. Something else you like. Yeah. Why not? Um, Alex said, big time wrestling on Saturday morning. Cool. John Schlett said, get it. Schlecht. 
I'm probably butchering the name. Sorry, John. It's a lot of CHs. He has two two sets of CHs really? in his name. Yeah. Extras? S-C-H-L-E-C-H-T. Are you charging him for that? I'm not. It's freebie. Um, Hank said, Johnny, you need to add some more spit when you talk like macho. I know, right? He does. Spit. Well, I have spit all over the screen. You I'm do surprised you haven't seen it. Um, Alex said, Macho Man invented the wrestling promo. He was the best, man. Um, Britt Boyette said he also had Miss Elizabeth at his side. That's Macho right. Man. That's right. Yeah. Um, Draco said, Randy Poffo and Leaping Lanny were the sons of An- Angelo Poffo, a great technical wrestler. So they were oh, brothers. Back in the day. Um, Spud said, I used to sit up and watch the professional wrestling with my 82-year-old grandmother at 11 p.m. on Saturday nights, LOL. Good times, good times. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Julie said, in case anyone is wondering, wrestling is totally real. (laughs) What? There was a whole controversy. There was? About it not being real. What? And I'm like... Did you just uncover... What are you uncovering right now? I think think it was real. Ladies and gentlemen, here... I'm saying, you hear it here first. Hear it here first. First hand news. First hand news. EDB with breaking news. Go. Wrestling is real. (laughs) There was controversy. There was controversy. Controversy today around wrestling. Authorities are promoting (laughs) that wrestling is not real. I'm here to tell you, yes, it is. Here's what I would tell you. The injuries were real. Oh. These people. I didn't realize you were such an authority. I I get that there was a lot of showmanship going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that they were taught how to fall, how to respond, how to jump, all that kind of stuff, uh-huh. to where they weren't severely hurting the other person. But there were injuries sustained. There were parts of it that were very, very real. Man, I did not realize you were such an expert in wrestling. <laughs> I'm not. Huh. I only claim to be on this broadcast. Um, Hank said, Larry the King Lauder used to live in my town for a few years. FYI, my town is very, very, very small. <laughs> so he knew him, I guess. Um, John Schlutz said, tricked out tacos. That would be fun. Yeah. Um, Jerry the King Lawler, Alex says. Hank says, was the cake down by the ocean or just the port of johns <laughs> There was no port of john It was actually, it's an actual building. It was a real bathroom. It's a real bathroom. Full legit bath. For real boys and girls. Yeah, it wasn't, it was, wasn't that pop-up. It wasn't pop-up tats. Pop-up pooper. Wasn't a pop-up It pooper. wasn't a pop-up pooper. <laughs> James Wilson nope, said. No, P-P-P. P-U-P. Pop. Uh, P-O-P. Pop, pooper. Pup. Pup up. A pup. A pup up. <laughs> a pup. James Wilson said this entire thing makes me smile. Something to look forward to on Mondays. Thank you. Ah, oh, thanks for hanging out. We appreciate you. Yeah. You're the, like we just said earlier, you guys are the ones that make it fun. Um, Dan Otherwise, we'd just be talking to each other. And that's no fun. Well, wow. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> Fun. We hey guys, built a, I just, we built I just, a lasting relationship I, on our. I'd like to just remind all of you that oh. generally, most of the time, I get the backhanded deals like that, and then later on, she's like, "I really meant that." I never. It's did. not all just like the pictures you see. Oh my god! You know, I'm so in love with you. I'd like to blink twice that I'm being abused. I'm so in love with you. I'm so in love with you. <laughs> do you see my eyes yeah. rolling? <laughs> no, I really do. He's amazing. Um, Dan Schleisman just said, Hi, guys. I received my prints and stickers. They are awesome, all caps. Oh, thanks so much. We really appreciate we it. We do the appreciate feedback. it. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, Hank said... Uh, A lot oh, of he things. Was correcting his, he was correcting his autocorrect. Um, Alex said, Joni, Lo- Joni Lawler, China, was Jerry the King's daughter. Mm. So it was a family business. These people were raising their I, kids I, I to would, be wrestlers. I would, I would imagine. Alicia Allen just is laughing with tears coming out of her eyes. Um, Shaggy said, love you guys. Make me laugh so much I can't even hold the airbrush still. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, what are you working on? Ah, uh, babe. I know. I miss it. You've been saying. I know. You're going to do it. I got to get a compressor. Get it. You say that. They're not free. Get it. I will give you the money. Oh, this is the kind of wife I am. I'd like have. to hold you to this. This is the wife I am. <laughs> yeah, you're like. Pretty and sure. I like, and I like a tank top. Somebody is sending like us another stimulus. Go get your airbrush. Stimuli. 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 Plural. Um, <clears throat> a stimulus. Oh, 
Alex said, hi, Shaggy. We've got Spud saying, ooh, spicy. I don't know what that comment was for. Mm, spicy. Who knows? Kathleen Harrigan says, Hong Kong. Spicy is spicy. Um, Jason said, the fabulous Mula. Oh, yeah. Mula. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Maddie Bunce said, did they open a Frenchie's by you? Frenchie's? Where did we see? Mm, no. No. Not over here. Here, there might be one up on 54, maybe not open yet. There's a Hooters on 54. They just oh, opened. yeah. We're so excited about that. Yeah. Um, they do have a good burger. I'd well, their have. wings are pretty phenomenal, too. Are they? Yeah, that's what I, I don't, hear. I don't think I've ever had the wings. I've never been there, so I wouldn't really know. You go all the time. I don't even go. You like Your dad Hooters. made me go once. My dad does. And like I was like, Hooters. this is a little, I don't, I'm not comfortable. I don't know if my dad's ever been to a wing house. From what I've heard... Oh, that's it's definitely more... Uh, they're better. Yeah, I've been there lots of times. <laughs> I, have a, I have freaking flyers, Miles. Oh, too. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. At the wing house. <laughs> I know, they love me there. They're I'm JJ, sure they what's do. up? JJ. Come, come nestle in. Yeah, they, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? When you're, when you're a celebrity... When you're a celeb. You got to go. Right. Yeah, I'll be at the five, guys. <laughs> for the same reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I saw the guy over there, over there, uh, trying to give you the the free nugs. They don't have nugs at Five Guys. Oh, they do too. Senior purchases <laughs> over there. Whatever. Hot Rods Woodshop said Bill Dundee. <gasps> Is that a brother to Crocodile? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kathleen Harrigan said Crybaby Cannon. I never heard of that one. No, who's that? I don't know. Um, Draco said wrestlers often had many different personas. They did. Wait, they were, they what? Were actors. You just said it was real. They were real actors. <laughs> <laughs> Alex said, "All World Wrestling League." Eh, that makes sense. Um, owned by the original Sheik's son, the Far Nuh-uh. family. Billy Zamet is tuning in. Billy, how are things on the other side of the world? He's tuning in from Australia. What is going on? Um, James Wilson said, what about a Ford Anglia, Harry Potter style? Yes, 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 yes. I got I, I, I actually, that... I think I may have one of those as well in the standard prints. Hmm. I don't even know what kind of I've done. I've is. done a lot of little drawings. There, there are thousands more that are not on the site. Yeah. Um, FYI, Hank. Thousands more. <laughs> <laughs> Spud said... Um, one of the wrestlers asked Julie and her friend to tell a couple of girls who were waiting for the wrestlers that they had already left. The wrestlers had brought the girls to town with them. Oh. On oh. um, the slime. Wow. Kathleen said shagadelic. I'm guessing for shaggy. Um, Draco said Abdullah the butcher was a peanut farmer in Georgia. Hmm. Huh. Who knew? Fun facts. Mark Gibbons said Dusty Rhodes elbow. So he maybe was he maybe the, it the was elbow? Maybe it was Dusty Rhodes. I think it was. Was it the atomic elbow? Was it atomic? Um, Kathleen Harrigan said it's not real. <gasps> what isn't? The horror. T- tortoise? No, I think wrestling. No. Um, Naz said he's got the WWE on right now, actually. What? Mm-hmm. Um, Alex said wrestling storyline is fake. The injuries are real. Oh, I would no. imagine. Wrestling is so um, Alex also went to high school with Kevin Nash. I don't know who that is. Uh, Wayne Phelps is he did Nash say Bridges cool truck. Friend? Uh, Wayne is watching you draw. So oh, that's at least okay. one person. Hey, thanks for stopping watching. <laughs> he digs it. He digs it. Um, Lizzie said, does anyone remember Barry and his brother Kendall Wyndham? <laughs> I thought she was going to say, is anybody even paying attention to what he's doing? <laughs> Nobody really is. It's fine. Um, Hank said, no way, Eddie. Owen Hart's fall was staged. He is hanging out in Vegas with Elvis. That's right. I guess. She doesn't even know who that is. I don't. Um, Alex said, by the time this drawing is done, gas will probably go up at the pump. You're probably right. Wow. That was mean. Is it? Yeah, I'm working on it. Jeez. I think he was commenting on how quickly the gas prices are rising, not how long you're taking. Oh, okay. I'm guessing, Alex. Maybe he did. Back yeah. me up here, Alex. Yes. 
Lynn said, crazy how easy it is for you to draw and carry on a conversation. You are definitely beyond talented. I have to concentrate just to draw a straight line. No. Um, fun fact, Lynn, he cannot talk and draw at the same time. What are you talking about? Because whenever you are I'm talking thought, right now. It's gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> when you're saying something. Let me, add, let me add to the gibberish. I love you. Look, you just stopped. You just stopped because you can't. That's not true. He can't do it. Oh, don't try to challenge me now. <laughs> um, Wayne Phelps said, what about the Daytona? 500? 500. I don't know. Um, Julie said, I can't believe no one named The Rock. Well, that's a given. Who's that? That's a given. Who's The Rock? Uh, Hank said he's too new. Who's The Rock? <laughs> who's The Rock? The Rock? Yeah, who's that? Rock, paper, scissors. You're talking about Dwayne Johnson? Yes. The actor? He's not a he's wrestler. Not, he's not a wrestler anymore. He's a freaking guy that promote. He's selling... He's the vodka, tooth fairy. vodka now. He's a businessman. He's the tooth fairy. <laughs> Just kidding. He seems like a pretty nice guy. Wayne Phelps said he's in clear in Clearwater. What? What about the Daytona in Clearwater? There's a, a Daytona in Clearwater. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, Micah said, "Nice big rig." Thanks, man. Micah Claycamp joining us. Micah another from super Micah artist. Doodles, another, another super artist. Yeah, amazing. Go check him out. He does a Monday night draw as well. Yes, he did. He probably just wrapped it up. Or he's one of the two. Yeah, yeah. Um, Russ said Hacksaw Jim Duggan with a two by four and old. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. That was the guy. That's old school. Hacksaw. (laughs) Hank said they were giving Itty free peanuts at Five Guys. She's special. Um, (laughs) They do. Every time I go in, they're like, help yourself. And I'm like, you know what? I think I might. I was going to say something, but it's, you know, never mind. Yeah, not those nuts. Peanuts. <laughs> Hot Rods Woodshop said, ever done a tricked out tractor? You have done some cool tractors. I've done all kinds of stuff. You've done some tractors. I've done some silly stuff. Um, Howard Pierpont said, the Hooters in Beavertown, Oregon was so poorly attended, they hosted Bible study. Shop only lasted five years. Um, well, we have one here in the Trinity area near our home now. Um, there's one in Clearwater. There's actually a couple in Clearwater right on the beach. There's one, and then there's one um, in downtown Clearwater. Or uh, it's not really downtown. The original. The original Hooters. What are you even saying? The original I don't Hooters what you're on saying Highway right now. 60 in Clearwater. Um, Draco said Abdullah was Larry Shreve, I think. I don't know who these people are. Um, Julie said Dutch Savage here in the PNW was huge. Uh, Matt said saw the new Hooters near you, but we enjoy Hooters on the water. Just don't wear a Johnny Five shirt. People won't leave you alone talking about it. That's right. That's where they were. Yeah. He had. He had uh, That's why I tried to go back, hoping that somebody would. And nobody does. We were actually in Chili's one night, sitting there, and you were on TV. While we were sitting there. Yeah. Remember? I do. Full Custom Garage was on. Yeah. And no one was Nobody. even paying attention to the TV. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. My acres not that bad. <laughs> Mark Gibbons said, I think the Wyndhams and Blackjack were involved with the Kofor Salvage. Kofor Salvage. I don't know. Hot Rods Woodshop said Hillbilly Jim. Uh, James Wilson said, what about Brutus the Barber beef cake? Oh, yeah, Brutus the Barber. Those tights were hot. No one gets oh, out of man. the sleeper hole. That's right. Howard Pierpont said, Johnny, you need to post some videos. Micah did one with his car in the snow this weekend. Um, thanks for bringing up that point because we were supposed to be doing some extra videos. Um, I actually have posted lots of videos of my bug. Go Recently, check them out. we talked about doing Recently. Videos. When? Like one video, like a week, three videos. Been a week ago. Okay, it's trending. Don't worry about it. It's trending. So what's it on? Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, bro. Well, maybe Howard's not on Instagram. Come on, Howard, you gotta get it on the gram, bro. Why are you not reposting it? To what? Facebook. No, who does Facebook anymore? People do. (laughs) People. I'm just kidding. Do. Um, Lane said, if you ever get caught up, I'm ready to talk about some shirt artwork. We've been doing that for like the last year, Lane. I'm sorry. Things keep coming up, dude. I am sorry. It is is something um, out of of your normal car wheelhouse 
but I'm sure it's something that he can do. Yeah, actually, um, yeah. Um, Julie said they call it Insta. That's right. It's just Insta. It's not the gram. Well, you call it which, uh, the cool kids now. I'm See, I'm changing it. It's the gram, bruh. It's the gram? And then you got to say bruh after. Oh, is that, is that it? Mm-hmm. Uh, James Wilson said Greg and the Hammer Valentine. I don't remember that name. What are we thinking? How are we thinking? What are we thinking? Uh, people are digging it. I, I love the uh, shine you put on the side. That's cool. Come on. These guys always put the shine on. I'm really you gotta have You got to have shiny chrome. It's definitely chrome. That's for sure. This, I would not want to be behind on a sunny day. Have you ever been behind one of those oh, on a sunny day? Oh, that's the best. Day? I love it. You're, when... you're blinded by the light. Rolled up. Wrapped up. Rolled like a up. deuce. Yeah. Another runner in the night. Another runner. Another one. Not Another. just one. Another Two or three. One. You never know. You never know how many are going to show up. <laughs> Michael Williams said, real old timers, Moose Cholak, Fritz Von Erich, Hans Schmidt, Gorgeous George. Gorgeous George. Ilio DiPaolo. Those are from the 50s and 60s. Yes, I've heard of Gorgeous George. He was gorgeous. Was he? Oh, God. Well, I might have to look him up. He was He was ha yeah. ah! What'd you do? I don't know. Oh. Um, Hank said the Four Horsemen. Of the Apocalypse? I don't know. Um, Julie said people might mistake it for a coca for cocaine, you know, the gram. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why would her head of all people's heads go I know. <laughs> Julie. We may, we may have lost this whole thing. Why? Yeah. You lost it? It may have. Why? I don't know. My computer does what it wants. Oh, my gosh. Not a lost I don't know episode. what this is. Why? Go away. There we go. This one was so good. Yeah, so. It's gone. Cross your fingers. Oh, boy. Say a... Say a little prayer for me. Oh. Is that it? We'll see. That's not it? We'll see. <sighs> if it revives itself. Oh. Is it all there? Mama. It's there. Don't let your babies grow up to be truckers. What are we... Yeah, everybody's digging it? I think so. Okay. Likes and loves, guys. If you could hit that button, just let me know. I just want to know. I just want to make sure. He I'm... just wants to know. He just he needs. I need the, he feedback. Needs the feedback. He's such a person that needs it. I'm telling That's, you. It's not it's a lot. It's really not a lie. Constant. Lie. Yeah. Constant. Hey, hey, am I drawing this okay? Hey, is this is this a good enough color? Hey, do my wheels look okay? Do you I'm like, like I? Why are you asking me? Do you like me? <laughs> Do you love me? Am I the best thing ever happened to you? <laughs> and you're kidding. like, no. <laughs> Shut up. I do not. With little say. hands. <laughs> <laughs> no. How about you go get me some caca? Mark Gibbons said, ride beside polished tankers. You can admire your ride. Yeah, that's, that's the best true. part. Yeah, yeah. That is true. You can. Um, if you're not blinded, because. I've been behind a few of these that are very mirrored, and it's really not. You gotta safe. take. That's awesome because that means that person is taking pride in their chrome on their truck. I Love get those it, guys. but at Love the same guys. time, how is that legal? What do you mean? It's blind. Buyer beware. I didn't buy it. You did. I'm behind it. Well, who told you to get behind it? I shouldn't. Speed be. Speed up. Shouldn't be. Um, DCCF said, I'm always impressed when you draw chrome. It's really realistic. Thank you. Indeed. Oh, Dan Schleisman said, what happened to the AG cars? What's AG? Oh, the American Graffiti. Taking a break tonight, Dan, um, but we will be revisiting that. So yes. there are a few more that he's going to do, but uh, he just wanted to do something a little different tonight. So hope you enjoy. Um, James Wilson said, British Bulldogs and then George the Animal Steel. You got to shake it up sometimes is what we're doing. That's what we're doing tonight. Shake it up. Um, Cindy said, save it, save it now, right now. Lane said, close call. Spud said, it's alive. The sketch is re-erected. Alicia Allen said, it looks like a million bucks. Shaggy said, I think you do really good with an airbrush, the way you do it with the computer. You already got the knowledge. Um, Shaggy, when I met Johnny, that's what he was doing, was airbrushing. Um, that was some of the first art I saw you do. Mm -hmm. That's why my and style is amazing. a little bit airbrushy. Yes. Um, so I, I think it's really just a matter of him getting the proper supplies. Hewning it in. And hewning it in. I got to hewn. 
Um, David Hill said, how about... But thank you, sir. I appreciate it. How about Sergeant Slaughter? Oh. Putting the Cobra Clutch on a very young and double-jointed Jim Carrey. <laughs> was he a wrestler? He couldn't have been. He was so uh, scrawny. Well, might have been in a movie. Maybe. Um, Lizzie said, my new screensaver. That's when you know. Yeah. That you've really... Hit it out Knocked of it out of the park. Is when Lizzie Daughtry says she's using it as a screensaver. Feel free, anyone else who wants to use it as yeah, a screensaver. Yeah, I appreciate it. Feel free to share the broadcast. Feel free to... Hit um, the likes and loves. Yeah, hit, hit the likes and loves. Share it with your friends. Repost it. Um, Johnny's going to post a link to this video. There's also going to be um, a link from our website as well. Yeah. And... Uh, Drive people over there. Here's the well. cool thing: when you go to the website, if there's a particular drawing that you like, when you're looking at Sketchy, Hank is built into the website. You can click on it, and it'll take you to, to the the Sketchy episode. Live, and you can watch the sketch being drawn. True story. Hashtag true story. Hashtag 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 true story. Yeah, super cool. That's how cool feature is that? I love it. I love Hank it. Hank Tutton, full full on thinking about stuff, you know. Uh, James Wilson said, don't know if I've ever seen a more interactive group. You are right, sir. Well, I thanks think for, we have we yeah. have such a great audience for this broadcast. You guys make it the best. It is so much fun. It's it's fun interacting with you. I mean, that's that's my job here. Of course, I'm not doing any of the drawing, but I think letting Johnny know what you guys are all saying, it just it pumps him up. It makes him want to do more. Yeah. And and enjoy what he's doing while he's doing it. So I'm glad to be a part of it. It the the fun part is is absolutely the interaction with you guys. We're trying to do um you know something a little a little different. You know, not just it's not not that it, it's not about the drawing. Yeah, we we love that you want to watch the drawing and stuff like that, but we also want you to be entertained. And we want you to get to know us a little yeah, bit. Get to know us. We're cool. You can, we can it's be friends. The first two times we're cool, and then it becomes. Yeah, a like we still like that's what we were saying earlier. <laughs> then it becomes. A that is what we were saying earlier, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. We've had people who have been on this from the very beginning, since day one, ride since or die. Day one, ride or die. Yeah, so we're thankful for. There's a. Day. There's a. There, we call them something. What do we call them? Those folks have been here for a long time. The Jalopy Army. The Jalopy Army, and hey, if you want to join. The Jalopy Army. There's no fee. There's no sign-up fee. There's no sign-up There's no fee. dues. There's no membership dues. You just show up every Monday, man. You grab yourself a Jalopy Army shirt, maybe a sticker. Boom, you're in the Army. Boom. You're in the Army now. You're in the Army without purchasing anything. Yeah, come on. Don't force them to buy merch. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> but yes, we do have the Jalopy Army sticker and we do. available. We do have both. You can get a hat. Both. Both. Okay. Okay. Um, We're pretty close here, babe. Good. Uh, Dave Daughter <laughs> said, how about good. making a movie like Cars using your sketches? Oh, um, shut Who up. just freaking said this? Like Cars, I not said it. Cars. I said you should do like cars, he the said. Cars, Cars, uh, not as cartoony. That was my idea. I literally just said this last no. night. He shot it down. So no. thank you, Dave, for backing me up. No. I think it would be cool as well. I don't want to do it unless they've got lasers. Paul Marciani said Gorilla Monsoon. Mm. Mark Gibbon said, has Brutus Beefcake been mentioned? Oh, Brutus Beefcake. I, uh, did he? Ed Lucchese is saying Mr. Perfect. I don't know if he's referring to you. No, no, the wrestler, wrestler, wrestler. Oh, there, there was a wrestler. Okay, good. Um, Mark. Oh, good. Because <laughs> clearly you're not. Thunderbolt Patterson. Hmm. Don't know that one. Um, Draco said Paul Orndorff. Dorf. Mr. Orndorff. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orndorff. Someone, someone did say that. Um, Hank said IRS. Mm-hmm. Why would he say IRS? Because they, they'll come after you. They will. <laughs> eventually. Oh, Hank said Jalopy Army. Pay your dues. Um, Ed Lucchese said Big Boss Man. Um, Lane said, I know I've missed a month and I'll make another order tonight. What's the newest shirt you have? I feel out of place for my temporary unwanted. Our order. new shirt is the a full, full color. full color design. Design. It's called, uh, it's called Air Cold Air Rules. Rules. And it's got a cool little Volkswagen bug. 
with some cool stuff on top. And then you got a cool little split window bus um, sitting and chilling. It's actually a sketchy uh, design we did on Sketchy Live that is now a t-shirt. So And it it's our only full color. So yeah, check so far. it out. Check it out. Um, and Lane, I don't know if you... Check, um, check, if check, you check it out. Well, took your well, break before or after we released the Sketchy Live shirt because that's also fairly new. Yeah. So, we do have yeah, a go sketchy check it live. out. Go check it out. I think the newest ones are uh, on the top. So yeah. you'll see those first. Um, James Wilson said, first time showing up in the seventh inning. Hey, I hope you, <laughs> but are you enjoying yourself? I hope you're having fun because yeah. we are having a blast. Um, Hot Rods Woodshop said, looks great. Love that you interact with your admirers. Thanks. Uh, mm -hmm. well, I don't know about the admirer part of it. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. Um, DCCF said, you never thought about doing tutorials on YouTube to explain your different techniques for drawing. Hmm. It's something that we could do. He's is there isn't there a lot of those? It's more about the entertainment factor than it is the tutorial. I mean, okay. listen. If you here's the thing about this, you want to ask a question, ask a question. I'll answer it. I'm not hiding anything. Hank said, "I've tried no go" because he's mentioned it to you as well. Well, because again, here's the deal. The whole purpose of Sketchy Live when we started was if you had questions. This is the fun part. This is where it's grown. If you if people had questions, they could ask them. What's been awesome. It's been less questions. You and guys are just having fun. More fun. And you guys, we've learned more about you guys. That's the fun part. Mm -hmm. We're learning about you guys. So continue to do that. But anybody out there who has a question, feel free. You can contact me at John Jalepi, uh, LLC at gmail.com. You can ask questions. I'll answer questions. I got nothing to hide. Here's the great thing, though. You're watching him draw it. So you're seeing what tool he's picking. You're seeing how he's blending the colors. You see how he's yeah, doing his lines. But I'm more than happy to help. So you're watching it. But but I'm absolutely more than happy to help. If you have questions, yeah, he you will take questions? the time. Love he, is, he is one of those guys who will take the time to share sure. what he's learned, what he knows. It ain't much, but I don't mind sharing. <laughs> James Wilson said, the ultimate warrior. Um, he said, what about the Red Rooster? He was awesome. Um, I was going to say, what about the Red Roof Inn? That was a great place to stay. <laughs> Ed Lucchese said, Ted De Debosi? De Debiosi? I don't know who that is. Debiosi? Yeah. Debiosi. Debiosi. Yes. Um, Mark Gibbon said, a.k.a. Dingo Warrior was the ultimate warrior. <laughs> Dingo took my baby. Cindy said, "Ah, oh, the heart itty be so sweet. I did see that on the side. Wow. So cute. Yeah. He loves me. Yeah. He loves me. Itty be. <laughs> Love itty be. Itty itty be. Um, Draco said, Ted had a ton of personas. James Wilson said, Ted uh, DiBiase was an Omaha guy. Went to my high school. Crazy. Yep. Um, David Hill said, Mr. Perfect's dad, Larry the Axe Hennig. Oh. Uh, Michael Williams said, I can see it now. Pixar, Disney, and sketchy movies. And we can say we knew them then. <laughs> uh, I wish. Uh, Lane said, I'm on it. Got to keep decorating my office. I'll share pictures with you soon for sure. Anyone who orders anything from us, please. We have a Jalopy Army album on Johnny's page. And we would love to see you, a uh, picture of you in your gear. If you if you got a shirt, if you got a hat, take a picture of that, send it over. Um, if you have a, a cool way of displaying your art or wherever you're putting it, send it over. It could be just you showing us your toolbox with a sticker on it. We don't care. That would be super cool. To Show share. us your toolbox. Show us your toolbox. <laughs> um, Dave Daughter said, come on, Johnny, the movie idea is awesome. It would be great to, for us to do a movie. That would be Sure. Somebody reach out to us. <laughs> We're available. <laughs> um, Draco said, I can attest to the fact that Johnny will help you out if he can. Aw, that's Thank cool. Thank you, sir. Uh, Lane said, I bought a lot of the movie sketches and I'm way behind on my orders. Well, good news, Lane. It's now just a click away. That's right. Um, Alicia Allen said, guys have a strange way of showing their feelings. <laughs> he puts me on the side of a car. Um, he also put um, my name... And a heart in our 51 Chevy. And I'm also on Kona as well. Of course. I love you. Well, I love you. Do you? Damn it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done here, sir? Yeah. Did you do the antenna? Where's the antenna? Oh, shoot. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, my goodness. Hurry it up, sir. 
James Wilson said, I grew up with WWF and Cartoons Magazine. Tonight is making me smile ear to ear. Oh, good. We aim to please James. We did not know that we'd be talking about wrestling. Make sure going you, into tell, tonight's you tell a friend. <laughs> Yeah, we're supposed to talk about summer plans. Yeah, summer plans are on the back burner to what we've been doing tonight. But, uh, yeah. I, I would just, I'm excited about my family coming to visit. Like I said, we'll have some car stuff to talk about with them uh, when they get here. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to them being on the broadcast, not next week, but the following oh, week. Oh, do the antenna. Um, Spud is saying it looks great, guys. We are coming to a close here. So... Definitely likes and loves. Again, feel free to share. We still have 22 viewers hanging in to see how this one turns out. Guys, this is fantastic. $20, 11 by 17. These come full color, free shipping because we're crazy. I don't know. In the United States, free shipping. We do uh, ship overseas as well. So um, hit me up over email if you are overseas and are looking to order because we can do that. There is a flat shipping and handling fee. Um, Alicia Allen said, I never knew how much I'd like semi-trucks until I seen this one. <laughs> cool. He does make it look good, doesn't he? Paul Marziani said, killer truck. Um, Alex Cuderon said, thanks for your efforts, you two. We appreciate you guys. Um, Shaggy LeBlanc said, it's sweet. I am digging it as well. And it's sweet and complete because now we've got the antenna a on there. Little whipping antennas on the back. Just a little uh, rat fink fuel truck. Super cool. People are digging it. Uh, Lane, go, Lane said, my job trip to Tampa that was put off should happen this June. Um, we are going to be show. gone at oh. a certain point in June. We're going to be up in Georgia. That's our summer trip. Yeah, we got a super cool event uh, with our uh, Bible Fellowship that we're so excited about getting yes. into. It's going to be great. That's going to be the second week in June. Yeah, it's going to be fun. We're so excited. Yeah. So um, hopefully we can hook up with um, Draco again because yeah. he's, he's right outside the area we're going to be in. Well, there you go, guys. There is a fun little semi truck. We sure hope you guys uh, had fun hanging out with us. Uh, please hit up the website, johnjalopi.com. Stickers, hats, all even, kinds even of goodies. If you're not purchasing, just go check at the check. The, in on the hardware. Please do, yeah. Check out what we have available over there. Uh, where were the cool kids wear? Got on the beanie. The beanie is rocking. Um, Love it. I really am so happy Love we it. did it. Love it. Uh, and it's it's high, super high quality. I it will is. tell you, I'm more than impressed. And it's long. Yeah. It's not like like I have room to grow here. Thank you uh, to our guys over there at Graphic Disorder for doing our hats and, and um, embroidery on our hats and the beanies. Great people to work with. If you need that kind of stuff done, hit them up. Uh, again, hit the website up for some hats and, or some stickers. We've got some cool stickers available there as well. Uh, two different sticker packs that are available. Those are done by Blackjack here in, locally in uh, Blackjack Florida. Blackjack in Hudson, Florida. Yep. So, uh, yeah, go grab it. JohnnyJalopi.com. Uh, we sure appreciate you guys spending your Keep Monday night with us. Keep us busy, guys. Yeah. Keep us busy. Spending your Monday night with us. This print is available for 15 bucks. Look, you can see the packages behind Sorry. Us. This print is available for $20. $20. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Please share with your friends. Please share. The the, the more we, we talk about all the time, the more you guys share, the more it hits the algorithms on Facebook and uh, more people get to see it and it becomes more available for folks. More people to talk uh, to on yeah. the podcast. If you missed this, go over to fa uh, YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Or, or Facebook as well. Or Facebook, yeah. I wish I could do it on... We'll have to do something on Instagram soon. Or as Julie calls We're it. We're supposed to do the reels. The Grizzam. Yeah, so Insta. there you go. She calls it Insta. 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 Instant dinners. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a super week. We'll see you guys next Monday. Stay sketchy. We'll see you soon. Bye.